Hi, I'm Lawrence Bernstein, a professional speechwriter, um, and I run greatspeechwriting.co.uk. And irrespective of the sort of speech that you're going to give, there are two or three key things to bear in mind. Firstly, there is nothing to beat preparation. Um, and hopefully you're not watching this 24 hours before you're due to give your speech, but the more time you leave yourself, the better. Second of all, don't worry about speaking for too long. Often a five minute speech is much, much more powerful and impactful than a 20 minute one. And brevity is often the key. And finally, although a lot of the, the videos that I've created are about writing a speech, please remember that you can't think about writing and delivering separately. They're one and the same thing. You're writing to make the speech easy to deliver. And if you think of it that way, then the thing should work. So you're putting together a PowerPoint presentation and I have nine tips that are not going to write it for you but which I hope will help you avoid many of the pitfalls that I find in, in clients who approach me with PowerPoints that I've never seen before. The first is keep your slides and your script separate. You do not want to have hundreds of words on each slide and you're you should be telling the audience things that your slides are not. So that's, that's first and foremost, and this distinction between those two is crucial to everything that follows. Second of all, make the visual, make the slide, the thing that they're looking at, interesting. Don't just have words in bullet point format. I use a rule that I try not to ever have more than 10 words on one slide, and that one picture will speak louder than, in this sense, 10 words will do. If the picture can be faintly amusing, even better, but something that will catch their attention and make them want to listen to what you've got to say next, is crucial and will help you get your point across very, very clearly. Thirdly, and it, it links on from the second one, don't, particularly if the subject is technical, don't get bogged down in technicality and sincerity. Try and weave in a bit of humour. This is a presentation and your audience are people and they would like to be amused in the same way that they would be if they were listening to an after dinner speech. So try and use your slides if possible not to turn it into stand-up, but to get the occasional smile and a bit of empathy and a relationship with your audience. Fourth, have a story that you want to tell. The story might be the end game. It might be the one memorable fact that you want them to take away from this thing. It might be the, it might be the philosophy that holds together everything else you're saying. It might be something entirely unrelated to the subject, but which brings it to life. And if you can keep coming back to something that's understandable and that people will find relevant and interesting, then you're going to make the PowerPoint more interesting too. Fifth tip is work backwards. When you're planning this thing, think about what you want your audience to say about you and the presentation afterwards, and then build it in that way. If, you want, if they want it to be original, be original. If they want it to be funny, you be funny but you decide what they want, and on that basis, you have the most chance of creating something that is entirely interesting, relevant, original, and all the other things that we would suggest any speech or presentation should be. My final four tips are more negative, and again, they cover some of the old ground, but in a slightly different way. Um, first of all, do not go into too much detail. There is nothing worse than a slide with a thousand figures on it, which you only have 20 seconds to look at. Next tip, follows on from that one, but make sure that you stay silent for long enough to enable people to absorb what has gone on in that slide, because their eyes will always dominate their ears, and when they see the slide and start reading it, they will not be listening to you. So don't save your funniest line or your most important point for the moment that they are actually just looking at a new slide that you've flicked over. Do not also use your projector or use the presentation as a way to hide from the audience. They are there to listen to you and to watch the presentation in conjunction. And if you are sitting on the other side of the room or you're hidden behind a pile of books, you're not going to do either of you any favours because the thing will lose impact. And finally, try and informalise wherever you can. Now, it's not possible if you're giving a PowerPoint to a thousand people, but if there's a room full of people, whether it's a pitch or an internal presentation, try and get some interaction going on with the audience. Ask questions, lighten the mood, try and get people to respond when new stuff arrives on the slide and again you will find that you capture the attention for longer and you have a much clearer gauge of how that presentation is going. So those are nine initial tips. My website greatspeechwriting.co.uk has many more or please call me if you'd like me to help you put a PowerPoint together.